It is Aaron's turn. He just barely beat me. How else do you get your initiative so high? There's some spells I probably should, I should look into. But yeah, oh, there's uh, a greater there's... initiative, greater improved initiative. Especially with the way initiative works in these games, initiative is just like super important at all times. Yeah. Especially as a spellcaster. Going first as a spellcaster is dis decisive in any battle. Yeah. Or going first if there's an enemy spellcaster so you can put the damage on them that will need oh, to wait. concentrate. I just decide to go first now with the spell that I got. Never mind. I got a spell oh, called Anticipatory Strike, which just says I take my turn when I decide to take my turn. Is that your fifth level ability? It is my fifth level spell. We so haven't leveled have to... up yet. Yep. I mean, I don't have any power points anyway. So... Fair enough. Okay. okay, Aaron, what are you doing? Uh... I'm going to go after him, if that's fine. You can do whatever makes your sad little mm. deformed body happy. That was rude. How dare you? But yep, that's. Uh, I'm gonna wait. You're gonna what? I'm going to go after him. I want to see what he does with Torm right there. Oh, you mean literally go? After oh, him. go after the mage. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought you meant go after him, as in chase him through the crack and uh, get there before Torm does anything. Oh no. no, no. Uh, okay. No, nope, I'm just gonna wait right here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go after, like, 25 in initiative. Makes sense. No, that's fair. Then now I have to uh, figure out what my tactic is. Obviously going to teleport out of there if I can. Just with Aaron in the middle of the room, that changes where I want to teleport to. Why are you always giving me the run around? I like that door to the south. Oh, he technically still has a fourth level spell, so he can use his dimension door to get down there. And this time he'll go behind the wall so he has cover. Pack of opportunity. I don't do any damage. Yeah, do... he can uh, spellcraft that. I'll roll it, but I don't think it makes any difference. Unless he rolls a one. So he'll use his one luck to make that not a one. So I know he dimension door. Yeah. And I can't see him. Do I hear? You said he's casting some sort of wall? Yeah, I was trying to determine whether I wanted to cast Wall of Fire. I think he's determined that you guys have uh, fire resistance, so that's kind of useless. Oh, no, he just used his last fourth level spell. So, wait, <laughs> wouldn't he have to decide what he's doing before his turn? He rolls initiative as well? Didn't he use his last fourth level spell last turn? No, he still had the Wall of Fire. He didn't use it. Ah, uh, that's bad. He used his boots to teleport last round. Our boots now. Well, once you kill them, they will be. Yeah. Well, there are many to pairs a wall of so boots. I oh, I'll hit Aaron with a ray of enfeeblement as my swift action or fast action. I am. Oh no, I don't have any first level spells left. Shit. I am pretty much out of things that I can. Do. I guess he'll just have to hit him oh, with the web. <laughs> Aaron, now uh, roll your web save. Well, where's the web placed? Uh, in the middle of the room. I'm just looking up the mechanics of it. I'm going to assume radius. that's a reflex. It yeah, does need to be anchored by Agnes. I assume the ceiling's probably not 40 feet high or higher. Uh, yeah, so he'll just web it floor to ceiling in a 20 foot radius on Aaron. So I also need to make a save? My turn. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> well, 
That is definitely a good idea. A natural three. This is why you're my favorite. Okay, that's everything he can do. Uh, Web, since it's my go now. Yep. Yes. Am I stuck? What's the? Oh yeah. You are entangled. You are entangled, and I think you're held fast. Um, yeah, yeah. If you fail to save, you get stuck in place. You see, uh, twenty strength check uh, as a standard action, I think. Um, I can just use the fire strike to burn the web, right? Uh, yeah, but that only burns a five foot square per level or per round. Five foot per round. Um, I have to make a strength check. Doesn't Spend make one sense. round to make a DC twenty strength check. Good luck, Yingwit. Yingwit. Well, I'm, I didn't fail to save. That's if you fail to save. Oh, okay. So you're just slowed down. Oh, I, I rolled a 26. I assume that works. Yep. And that's a 20, so you're not affected at all. What? No, I, I rolled an 18. That The 20 was spelled. Out, no, oh, no, sorry. Okay. Then you are affected. Then let us... What is the play here? I, think, I thought I had something... I will say there is a reason I memorized Heightened Web, and because it's actually pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think of it that I could have used my Heighten on it. Uh, he also has full cover from us if there is at least 10 feet of web between us, but the reverse also applies. Oh, no, dang it. Um, okay, so... Oh, that would have been helpful to do that. I'm not at that point yet. Uh, let us... I'm not going to make the strength check. Um, I don't have any broad fire spells. So... Does teleportation let me get out of this? Um, I think so. You'd still have to make the uh, spellcraft check. Uh, oh, boots. yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the boots of the... The one that lets me go 30 feet. Okay. I'm just going to go here, conveniently enough. Get rid of the ore, then. And standard action, then attack. For another 12. And 20 more off the stone skin. And swift action, nothing great. I have to roll the displacement, that's a d100, right? Uh, yes. 50, it's 50%? 50 yeah, you have to roll above 50. I fail, so putting the damage back and that'll be my turn. Oh wow, you've almost gotten rid of his stone skin. I almost have had hit. Yeah, but it's only got like 30 points on it. That I didn't realize you guys had beaten him up that much. Okay, then we're on to Yunwick. Sorry, I had to draw where the web is roughly. I was just going to put a circle on the board, but that looks more webby to me. Uh, So I pretty much have to go back out this way because I still need to make a strength check to even move through it. Do you have to make a strength check to move through it? Yeah, DC 10 strength check or, or uh, athletics, or sorry, strength or acrobatics, which would that be athleticism or a, uh, acrobatics, I assume? It would be acrobatics. Okay. Um, in order to, for every five points by which you move 10, you can move five feet. So it's a DC 15 to move five feet, and that's also. A full round. It's it's a really ridiculous spell. 
but it actually does extend the rest for us. So I need to make it a check. Uh, I can't move. Okay. Then we are on to Corey. Um, I will end my turn. You're just gonna stay there. I think my best option is trying to push him into the wall of force. Do you have any points left? Nope. Okay. Entirely a physical push. Okay, tow him. You're up. Okay. Hmm. Do I really want to run all the way down there? Only to have him teleport next round. Has he teleported three times in his boots yet? No, because he cast Dimension Door. Yeah, he's, he's got two more teleports, I think, left on his boots, but that's the only form of movement he's got left. He is out of fourth level spells. He's a, He has overland flight left, but that's not of any use to him. So he's out of fifth level spells. Uh, I've only cast one third level spell, so but my third level spells suck. At least in this situation. Um, I've used a lot. Right. That ends my turn. Use a lightning bolt and a scorching ray, so I still have a couple of sec and a web, so... Not the end of the world. Okay, then we're back to initiative. Yeah, Webb is up there with like solid fog of like stuff you cannot normally move through. You need like freedom of movement or whatever. Oh, I could use scare. I wonder if that would work. Yeah, it's pretty sad that I'm reduced to second level spells. Second level and zero level. I just win with an 18. That's pretty nice. I haven't rolled yet. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my turn before I roll. Well, you got to get out of the web first, don't you? I mean, I do, but I might... I, I guess I can't see him, really? Yeah, that's fair. Don't you have a really high dex? Uh, 16. It's not bad. But DC 15 is like, as I'm still rolling a D20, I don't really have any ranks in acrobatics or athletics. Yeah, but it's escape artist. It's not acrobatics or athletics. Acrobatics takes up escape artist in this game, doesn't it? No, I thought you were saying uh, tumble for some reason. Tumble and balance. Is escape artist a separate skill? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Well, that's even worse. Well, kind of. It's. I guess if you rolled poorly, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and that's even worse for me. My 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 escape artist check is not. I thought I thought acrobatics covered that like in uh, Pathfinder. Is escape artist uh, in acrobatics in Pathfinder? I don't think that's true. I might be wrong. No, escape artist is its own skill. Huh. It's not a very common skill, but when it comes up, it's pretty awesome. Uh... Yeah, that's how good Web is. I succeeded my save and I'm still stuck. Yeah, that's uh, pretty brutal. I think the reason it's so powerful is because it doesn't do anything. Like, there's no 
uh, penalty to it, other than you just lose your turn. I mean, it's good enough. Although, I do have full cover from him and him from me, so neither of us can actually see each other. And he can't, for example, lightning bolt through the room anymore. Even if he had the spells for it. He has lesser lightning bolts. So yeah, the, the opportunity cost is that those are now less valuable for him. Yeah, I was just thinking about what I was going to do. Um, and I think uh, Lightning Bolt's probably a better choice. The question is, who do I hit it with? Hit with it. I, mean, I don't think you hit with it. it. I can only hit one of them with the Lightning Bolt. It's just, which one do I want to hit? You um, can't hit us both by going with the dagger. No, because you guys don't share a square. I guess, yeah, oh, well, yeah, I guess it's five feet wide. I keep thinking it, like it's a line is a line, but it's actually five feet wide. Yeah, you're right. Aaron to the rescue of the DM once again. Okay, so you guys can roll your uh, reflex saves. Um, ignore that because that's D6s. Where's my... There it is. Oh, never mind. Go with the first one. I still have third level spells left, and Lightning Bolt is one of them. How did I miss that Lightning Bolt was on my list? Uh, reflex for that is 22, so I think... Uh... Oh, Aaron makes it. How the hell do you 32? Holy shit. Uh, I have improved resistance. So plus four give a resistance bonus to my saves. I'm grabbing a mass improved resistance next level because it seems quite good. Uh, it's it's like 20% of my saves, so yeah. Nice. Okay, so you take half. Uh, Tome, you take uh, the full 40. See? Um, and then the only thing he's got left that is swift would be electric jolts. So let's see if we can finish off Tome with a couple of electric jolts. Those are both at plus seven. They're both hits, aren't they, Tome? Probably. I don't see the, I can't see the numbers, so you just have to tell oh, me. Oh, sorry. Um, 21 and 19 for touch. Yeah. Okay, six and eight points. Not quite enough to kill you. Um, then we're on to uh, Corey. I don't see him yet. Um, Corey isn't the type of person to sit around, but there's also nothing he can do. So I'm going to end my turn. You're not the sitting here defending this location. Yes, I know if he shows up. <laughs> this vicinity. Yeah, I will no, charge. We, we got you. In all honesty, knowing that you were fairly uh, uh, useless in this fight, it would have made sense for him to teleport back up there, but I don't want to waste my last teleports just to have everyone chase me to the other side of the room. I think where I... Also, oh, curse... is, is he still blind? How is he aiming this stuff? Oh, yeah, I guess he's got his mischance. I mean, he, there are two non-silent people in front of him. It's not difficult to aim a lightning bolt in between them. Okay, so you... Well, it's not the lightning bolt I'm worried about. It's the uh, oh, yeah, electric sure. jolts. He has to aim the electric jolt. Oh. He also has life sense, so he has a rough idea where you guys are. Button in the top left. Whoa. <laughs> How did you know that was there? That's the in-game default one. If you don't have anything that modifies it, that one's fine. I don't, except for picking a spell. But I don't have any spells to pick, so... Fair enough. Okay, uh, Tom, did you note that the eight points didn't go through because of the mischance? I did not. Okay, so you get back eight points. Um, and then it's your go. Somehow. Yeah, I rolled a nat 20. You go, girl. Five foot step and let's do some attacks. Oh, 
only one hitting. Confirmed hit. So 17 to his stone skin? Uh, yes. And then we're on to Yinwick. I will just quietly be glad that no one can actually see me right now. You're embracing the web, aren't you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm wiggling out of it. I'm trying. I'm not seeing a save. See, that's the thing. I made my save. Now I just need to make the acrobatic. Right, the I'm not seeing the check. I believe in you. Nope. I'm not a bard, but... Never... But nothing. I'm not a bard. Okay. Uh, okay, Aaron. Why are you? You guys are definitely earning these uh, boots of teleport. Yeah. <laughs> um, free... Uh, I don't have a swift, so let's do... Mm, now I want a swift actual spell, so free action to heal DC 30 is for one. This is why I take blind fight on every melee character. Yeah, one hit point and... A... Oh, no, wait. I can't... Uh... I got hit this round, so make that two points, because I would have done that as swift instead of cast, if that's fine. Um, so 42, he has 13 on stone skin, 13, that's 29, 29 minus 3, 26 points. 26 points. Um, I'm telling him you get two points back, and that's my turn. So you got rid of his stone skin? Yep. Okay, then we're back to initiative. I can't believe he's still alive. Well, if someone didn't want to cast five different buff spells on him for, to protect him. I'm here too. They're undead. They should be used to being dead. Come on. Fair enough. And that is why you always put the tiebreaker in. Exactly. Tom will go next round. Okay, Yinwick, uh, you can quietly do nothing. Uh, yeah, I feel like this isn't really worth the dispel magic. Does the dispel magic work on? Co I guess it does. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna try and wiggle the five feet of sp five feet that I need. You got this. Hey, I learned to to twist instead of instead of tug. Dispel magic, I do not believe works on it because it's conjuration. Spell resistance, well, no. Like dispel magic works on uh, on like summons though. And those are conjuration. Uh, yeah, but I don't think they have uh, the spell resistance factor. I think the spell magic doesn't work on things that don't have spell resistance. Uh, I feel I like do. they do. I don't, I I guess it would the be in this spell, spell magic. magic. Either way, I I wiggle out, uh, and then it says to end ongoing spells that have been cast on a creature or object. To end the ongoing spells within an area or counter spellcaster's level. Yeah, oh, maybe, so it, maybe it would. I just thought the webs would be a conjuration, so they'd be physically there. Well, I mean, they also disappear after 10 minutes, but they do bypass spell resistance. Well, yeah, but so do summons, so that would not uh, hold up to... You could definitely dispel a summon. Yeah. Uh, well, so in any case, um, so it says, I mean, each round devoted to moving allows the creature to make a new strength check moves five feet for each full five feet five points by which the check result exceeds ten does that take my entire turn or what uh, yeah because that's your round to move that huh okay so even when you succeed you still waste your turn 
That is, a, <laughs> that is definitely a brutal spell. I can tell you from experience, almost everybody uh, who uh, has to deal with that spell uses fire on it. Yep. Grease yeah, I was going to, but yeah, too big. Oh, if you have at least 20 feet of web between you, it provides full cover. I thought it was 10. Huh. Good to know. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. And then I think Aaron just finished him off. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Finally. Crumbling Bad bow. time to lose initiative. <laughs> I had that teleport left. I could have gotten out of I there. I know. I was, that's why I said I'm really glad about the tiebreaker. That definitely would have been a good time for some DM cheating. <laughs> that it would. Okay. So you kill him. Do you have his uh, treasure on your list already? Yeah. I just have to take out the potion. Okay. So what are you guys doing from here? Ore will uh, kind of collapse on a wall for a moment and catch his breath. Uh, you good? I'll move is... around the web. <laughs> is, is he dead? <laughs> he's, oh, he's, he's put to rest. Uh, I'm glad of it. We should get some rest. Was... Are you back, Jesse? Oh, I'm here. I've been here since eight. There is a paladin body inside of the web. There's a mage body inside the web, too, but you could just fireball the web and get rid of it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, and kill your... No, your your fire resistance, mass fire. Actually, that's teleplage, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, It does, actually. big baby. That's the thing about... That's one of my kind of issues with the resistance, is that it can literally absorb an infinite amount of damage if you're in a position where you're taking a lot of fire damage. Yeah. Now, uh... Like well, next, my a little grade. bit of fire damage over a long time equaling a lot. Well, yeah, even over one round, like maximize Scorching Ray. I, I mean, to be fair, at our level, um, at ninth level, well, at ninth and beyond, 60 damage and below, you take nothing if you pass the save. So, I mean, eh, I get it. Well, it's 11th level, isn't it? It is, but I'm assuming any cast is going to have a stat. Fair enough. Most casters are mages, and most mages uh, aren't proficient with heavy staff. Our cleric really? doesn't happen to have raised dead here, though, do they? I'm okay. sorry, what is a heavy staff? It's a uh, staff that's heavy. It increases your caster level or something? Uh, yeah, it... Uh... He's referring to a darkwood staff, which is a channeling item, so it gives you a boost to your caster level. Wizards are not proficient with anything except like those four weapons that are listed on their character on their description, whereas every other class gets simple weapons and heavy staff is a simple weapon. Yeah, so you could technically doesn't count as a quarter staff. Well, if you had a dark wood quarter staff, it's a plus one caster level. If you have a heavy staff, it's plus two. And Aaron has a heavy staff, so he's oh, wait, what's a mage staff? A mage staff is just the standard uh, dinky staff from the player's handbook. They call it a quarter staff by the book. Hey, uh, the rest of you, all right? I see you're burning your dead. I don't. I know of a church you could take him. Uh, I'm sure Fuhrer. Oh, uh, speaking of Fuhrer, he just steps over and. Uh, this one's gonna uh, kill me, right? I oh, am, actually, uh, this one. I am uh, two point, pretty much two points away from death, so I need. You know what? Least... I want to play the game. I'm gonna heal you for a hundred and. Uh, 20 hit points. No, that won't kill you. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, it's 110 hit points. Uh, heal spell. Oh, we got one up. Why, why um, are you wasting your heal spell on fear? Because we're resting, aren't we? Yeah. How do you have heal? Is that like a... a uh, affiliation. Okay. They, um, the one that black armor, I didn't know him well. Uh, does he need... A burial of his own? Do, do you have rats? Uh, Pure, you'll take care of him, right? I will look at you guys, and I will look at Elric, see him being dead, and say, I'll be back. So I touch his body and teleport to the closest church of Mistra. Yeah, he'll be back. Okay. Alright. Uh, 
Sorry about that. At the end of that fight, you still had a fifth level spell left? I barely got to use my... Yeah, I have two fifth level spells, and I only used one of them. I used one Cone of Cold. Oh, okay. What did you use a Cone of Cold on? Uh, oh, because you use it as fire. I was going to say, Cone of yeah. Cold doesn't work on Undead. No, I didn't. I was pretty good on spells. It's just I went down right away in this fight. Yeah, that's what happens when you stand in a line with the strongest fighter. <laughs> For three. Um... Well, shall we rest up and think about some stuff? I will go shopping, I guess. Meet you guys in the morning. Let me know if um, you need anything. Um, uh, uh, I will probably probably not just heading back. Uh, that was the insinuation, yes. Um, uh, yeah, if we could uh, get a plus two in your um, teleport. I can take up to you and one other person. Tom, would okay. you like to get treated? You seem injured. Yeah, Fjur can take people with him too. Yeah, but he left. <laughs> I mean, I, if someone wanted to come with me to the church of Mistra. It's in town, right? Like, it's in the main Elaborate town. Elaborate. I'm going to the one that's closest to mine in Elbrick's home. Which I is? I, it was on the outer skirts of town. I, or it was just on the outer skirts of that red line. I forget what city it was. Uh, there aren't any cities on the outside of the red line. I, f I totally forgot. Um, it wasn't. I I wanted to make sure I wasn't from one of the big settlements. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying Ra that there aren't Ra going to be any uh, churches outside of the red line. No, I meant like just on the outs, like inside. Of, sorry, I said that wrong. Just on the inside of the red line, like Thor Thorvir. He wants to be in skirts, is what he said. In skirts of the red line, yeah. Okay, um, you pretty much have to go to a city to find a uh, ninth level cleric, and I assume you want to get him. Don't uh, I only need a fifth level cleric for raised dead? No, so you need a ninth spell. level cleric for raised dead. Oh, okay. And you probably want a thirteenth uh, level cleric for resurrection. Oh, okay. So you yeah, don't lose the was... con point. Then I will just go to the biggest uh, big church. Didn't you want to bring in another cohort? Yeah, I'm just. I thought about it. We need the tankiness of Elric. Okay. I will uh, try to hit the ride back to town with uh, with someone else. Yeah. If you guys are fine with the church of Mistra, you guys are welcome. I can take one more. Uh, yeah. Um... What else is at the church of Mistra? I have a couple of donations. To... Actually, I'll, yeah, Corey will go to the church of Mistra. And he and then Aaron can take the other two, and I think we're good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go to the town we normally go to that connects to Roloth. Works for me. Oh, resurrection costs. You're going to freaking... Zaruva or to Rolif? Uh, I'm sorry, we're in Arak Rim, right? Or no, you're north there's... of there. When you're up. Rim. You're up where Elvrick is on the map. Uh, sorry, I, I misspoke. Um, the Archmage is in Arak Rim. The uh, High Mage is in or the High Wizards in Rolif. Narman? Yeah, Narman's in Rolif. Narman is in Rolif. Zaruva okay. is where uh, Fear is going. Um, yeah, I guess it would be Zaruva then as well, just because no reason not to. That's where I live. I don't know. Live. Well, no, I. That's where I currently live. Didn't we find you? Uh, you found me. I was I was down there for a while. I wasn't down there for like a millennia. <laughs> yeah, okay. Corey was. Do you even know what year it is? Do you know what what is? Oh, I was wondering if you knew how much time had passed. He does. If you ask him about it. But we arrive in Zaruva, correct? Like outside the church of Mistra? Yes, that is where Fear's going if you're going with him. Um, yeah. Sorry, where were you going, Aaron? Um, I was going to go to Zaruva, just, like, just outside of Market Square or somewhere. Okay, so or you guys are all in Zaruva somewhere. Yeah. Mostly I just want to get a couple spells. 
in addition to the third uh, level up one, it's just like a couple other spells that would be helpful. I just want to get some good food after all that. I'm gonna okay, relax. you can buy spell copies at the uh, Church of Mistra. Yeah, so either going with either person works for me. Okay. So it's 900 to buy the copy, then I have to decipher it, right? Yes, or cast read magic. Ah, right, okay. And then um, it's another, how much to actually copy it into the spell book? So I noticed there's a, there's a maximum spells known document. Yep. How does that work with wizards? Because I don't know any spells, right? They're all in a spell book, or how does that work? Uh, you're referring to the spell slots document? Maximum spell slots, yeah. Yeah, that's how many spells you are capable of knowing. So every level, every every time you gain a level, all your spell levels go up by two. So you should have like 40 zero level spells and like 20 first level spells and so on down the list. So how does that work with a wizard? Because they use spell books. That's just the limit of how many spells you're capable of knowing at that point. So your spell book um, at each level, the base number is three plus your intelligence modifier. So when you get to ninth level, you can pick, you can have up to eight spells. You get two of them for free, or you can take two of them for free. And then you can fill out the rest by buying them. And every level after that, you can add two more. Okay. It takes gold to resurrect I, uh, and he'll give 2,300 gold to... Yeah, I'm only uh, short, like, I'm only short 4k, so I think I have enough, so if you want to keep your gold. I mean, given that it's sort of like a party member, do we want to take it out of, like, the the party treasure share before splitting it? I mean, I, I'm fine with just taking my share in resin. Mean, he's just a cohort. He's a party member, but he's not really a party member. But in character, he's a yeah. party member. He's in character, member. yeah. That's Far true. Away. I would treat it that way, at least. Yeah, I, I would contribute my fair share of whatever. Uh, if you don't mind a doing. donation from a follower of Master Nuon, go well. Okay, and uh, just take it, kind of thank you, kind of like a, as a looking down on you kind of thing, but just also being thankful. Mm -hmm. He'll go in and he'll pray to Mistra. More of a manner of apology than a prayer of like, help me, or like help your follower who I failed to protect. Okay, so the cost of casting the spell, uh, assuming you do find a thirteenth level uh, cleric to do it, is sixty three hundred and seventy gold pieces, and then the material components another five thousand. So, eleven k, twelve k. Uh, yeah, under 12 quay. 11,370. If you don't have enough, I'll give all 7,400. I, with the split we, split we just got, a guy, the gold don't mean much to me. And then plus my 2,300. But if you actually, yeah. I I'll... only need 801 gold. So you get 2300 from the left. Okay. I appreciate that. You got the uh, treasure, um, Aaron? From the mage, yes. Well, we didn't get um, the wraiths. I assumed didn't have anything, so I assumed it was only the mage. Uh, yeah, but oh, I guess you guys have already divvied up your tre treasure from last session. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we had the the mage beforehand, so it was just a quick plug and chug, taking out the potion. So it's six five nine three plus three nine seven six. So that's in addition to that seven thousand we got a while ago. Yeah. Okay, so then I have ten thousand five hundred sixty nine more gold, minus whatever I contribute to the resurrection. Yeah. And so that's like ten thousand. So like three thousand. Yeah, however much you're contributing to the resurrection, just put that in Discord so that Jesse can track it. That's that's the split if we're all... Or no, no, why am I rolling five? There's how many people here? Four? 
I don't know why you're rolling okay. anything. I'm not rolling. Oh, you're rolling the cost of the resurrection? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said just put in how much you want to donate to the cause. It's 11,000. Uh Yinwick said he was going to put in 3,000. 2,300. I'm a knight. My rank is like knight of the tendril with new on. Am I allowed in the church of mystery? Uh yeah, there's no limitations okay. on your movements. They definitely uh, look down on Scions, but unless you declare your affiliation, uh, they're not going to know. Oh, well, it's like, I don't know if he has like a badge or something. Yeah, know. like if you yeah. are a priest of Nuon and you go into the church, they're not going to do anything like overt against you, but you'll get a lot of crass remarks and disrespectful attitudes, but they don't like knife you in the corner yeah. or anything just like a loud entry but he yeah, is still you son, you so. are the leper basically in yeah. the group like it's the same i don't know if you were here when we were discussing it but um master narman is a uh wizard wizardry purist so he doesn't like sorcerers he thinks sorcerers are fake magic mm -hmm. like you didn't really learn how to do magic you just fluked out and got some magical powers so the the similar kind of like prejudice like that where different factions have different feelings about other factions and in his case uh it's very it's actually quite common within um, even in the church of mistra for wizards to look down on sorcerers and for sorcerers to disregard wizards as being stodgy old losers yeah. who can't do it themselves like you have to spend your whole life studying magic and I can just do it. So there's a little bit of animosity between them. Again, not hostility, but um, enough that they try to avoid each other. And it's not universal. Like there are lots of wizards who don't care. Just like there's lots of elves who don't have a problem with half elves, but there are a lot of elves who think half elves are abominations. Mm -hmm. All right. When business is squared away, I'll return to the library that I own, and I'll get in contact with my church, so I can order a skating Dorges, Dorges, whatever the equivalent of it's Dorje, I think. Dorje. I, I don't know if there's like a what is that to it. It's, it's a psychic wand. Oh, basically. okay. No limitation. It's like uh, it's something else. It's the equivalent of something else that a sorcerer gets, like a no crystal or some shit. I don't know if that's a Pathfinder equivalent. So. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying Dorje. That's Dorje's are wands, so I don't know what you're. Well, let me see, because that is what I'm saying. I mean, I'm see if they have charges. Cause I don't think they have charges. They don't have charges, so that's why I said. Oh, to be fair, I, I've never really looked at psionic items. Oh, it each has fifty charges when created. I was wrong. Yeah, so it's seven hundred fifty gold. All right, yeah, for that part. That and a cloak of resistance, because. Dorjes are freaking expensive, holy. Actually, I got a Cloak of Charisma instead of a Cloak of Resistance. How much is a rabbit's foot? I'd be the same as the other um, enhancement bonuses. It's okay. just the bonus squared sure. times... Plus uh, the additional cost of Yinwick's... Disapproval. ...stare. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a bonus, okay. I get seven. Preferably all right foot, so you know they're all from a different one. I make sure wow. I get seven dead rabbits. Wow. Well, I see how it is. Why do you need multiple rabbit foots? Uh, He's joking, I assume. <laughs> or else being very spiteful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it was a joke. Uh, I was just think, um, okay, so it's like, what, 4k? Um, it's 4k for a plus two, yeah. Now I'll just keep it the spell for now. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, the spell's actually better. Especially for luck, because you cast the spell, and then for that duration, you just use your luck, and if you don't use it, you can cast the spell later and do it again. Um, yeah, I was thinking about like the plus six, but that would be what thirty six, seventy two k. Yeah, thirty six thousand. That's a level up, right? What's a level up? You lose 
we're level 10 now after that fight? Yes. After you guys rest, you are level 10. Oh, yeah. The game gets harder, right? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, this is the big bump up. What happens to level 10? What changes? I don't know. Buckle up. <laughs> okay. Buckle up, Buttercup. It goes from boxing gloves. It goes from like 16 ounce boxing gloves to like MMA gloves. Okay. Well, I know we got fifth level now, or I have fifth level, but some people got fifth level earlier. Nobody had uh, fifth level before this. They just had abilities that exceeded their character level. Okay. I have fifth level before you. Yeah, you should. Shouldn't I? I? Like one level, one level before it, I think, is what wizards and. Because I would have had fifth level if I didn't take a point in ranger. Wait, did I fuck up? Ranger. Oh yeah, sorry, never mind. Yeah, because you're tenth level, not ninth level. Okay, good. I'm like, oh wait, what the fuck did I do? I don't know why I thought tenth level was the beginning of fifth level spells. Mathematically, it'd make it easier. But cool. Yeah, it is a really screwed up system the way they chose to do it. Yeah, I can't complain too much because it gets it faster, but still, yeah. In second edition, for some reason, they uh, you got ninth level spell, you got fifth level spells at ninth, and then it jumped to twelfth. And then it would, from that point on, it was the uh, even numbered uh, advancement. Mm. Interesting. And I think that's the reason is up until that point, it seemed unfair to make you go three levels to get a new spell level. But once you were in that high level of play, they were just like, okay, this will make it easier to figure out. Yeah, that's fair. Got it. Um, oh, good. I think I'm going to make my cohort a financial advisor that never goes to combat. You can uh, just take leadership and get a follower, right? Or is it working? Well, at sixth level, you can take a cohort. I might just take a cohort just That's... to be my financial it's manager. Right. <laughs> That's is how, yeah, the leadership is how. I'm I don't use here. the leadership feat. So if you want to uh, recruit followers in the cohort and whatnot, you can just choose uh, to do that at any point from sixth level on. I'll do that maybe if I get a good idea. Actually, I'll just use, like, I'll find somebody. We'll find somebody in the world, and they'll be thematically relevant. Um, John, I can I cannot uh, learn a spell this level and get something outside of the player's handbook, right? Uh, yeah, all you need to do is get a copy of it. Yeah, but I'm a sorcerer, so I'm kind of limited on my spells. So if I want to learn a fifth level spell outside the player's handbook... You I have to forego. get a copy of it, yeah. You okay, just, I can just forego learning a spell and learn that one in place when I get a copy? Yeah. Okay. For, yeah, for sorcerers, uh, it's basically the same as a wizard. You just need a copy of it to uh, grab anything out of the player's handbook. Yeah, that's not in the player's handbook. I was just wondering because of my very, very limited spells known. Yeah, the, the reason I put the player's handbook limitation on it is just it very quickly spirals out of control with players who just don't pick the player's handbook spells <laughs> they're like oh the dm will always give out player's handbook spells so i just won't pick those ones and it just seems super cheesy ah uh, i was going to ask about legion's sneak swiftness well if you are buying spells you can yeah. buy any spell you want at the church of uh mistra if you are taking a spell it's in the spell ac acquisition document but um at your new level you get two new spells those two new spells can be anything you want them to be but if they're out of the player's handbook you can just write them into your spell book if they are um outside of the player's handbook you have to take time out to finish your research and finalize your copies and that's the equivalent of research researching a spell it just doesn't cost you anything so most people will pick player's handbook spells for those two and then buy the spells the other way Mass Improved Resistance Constance Player's Handbook, right? Is it in the uh, Player's Handbook? It's in the, the Player's Handbook list document. No, but it's, it's not a real spell in 3.5 yeah. as far as I know. No, it's only the spells that are in the Player's Handbook, in the SRD. Oh, okay, so I have to buy uh, Mass Improved Resistance? Yes. Um, that document um, started out as just alterations that I had made in the game, but it quickly became all the spells that I used, and I never changed the official name of the document. Got it. 
Um, or we like describing what we're doing for like the evening. Actually, what time is it? And the... we've been keeping track of like what time or what day it is. It would have been like the morning. Mm -hmm. We're only there for less than an hour. That's a lot of money for spells. Well, we gotta go to a. Uh... Oh yeah, we're only there. Uh... Yeah, at high levels, it starts getting uh, pricey to buy spells. Um, the one thing you can do is steal your uh, friendly neighborhood uh, spellcaster spellbooks. Oh, like, uh, would he... Well, didn't, so I wait, give, didn't I give you spells? You gave me, yeah, a spellbook full of spells. I have those. Okay, what level was that spellbook? Uh, it has fifth all spells in it. Okay, that's the one with Overland Flight, Kona Cold, and Wall yeah. Wars? I'm just trying to figure out... I'm just trying to grab additional spells and figure out what spell... What fifth level spells I want to grab for my level up. Okay, um... Uh, Aaron, how many skeletal mages did you kill um, so far? Uh, I think three, but let me check. One, two, three, four. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of money because we have crazy treasure <laughs> enemies with crazy treasure outputs. No, no, no. I, I, for the most part, hadn't bothered with spellbooks in the game because Fear is a sorcerer, so he hasn't really needed them. But, um... Thematically, in the world, these were all wizards, so they would have their spell books on them. For mechanical reasons, I run them as sorcerers because I hate having to deal with all the minutia of being a wizard. So, um, we'll say that you can pick uh, three spells of each level, in addition to the ones that are in the book, and those can be any source you want. Oh, okay. That's that's a fuck ton of spells that I yeah. Did not so that that was just a, need to need to pick. Yeah, you can deal with that out of game. Uh, just write it down that you got three uh, spells of each level. Um, level up to fifth. Yeah, zero through fifth. As um other things I should probably mention in this, we do have masterwork armor weaving cloak of charisma. Which I assume is the uh, plus two, oh. so it's a plus two charisma, plus one AC, DR one, and I think it stacks. No, it it doesn't stack, but it overlaps with armor, right? But it works for touch. No, it it stacks with armor. It's like a shield. Oh, it stacks with armor. Okay, that's what I was about to buy. Yeah, so we do. Uh, I can just you should it. post the uh, treasure pile so people can pick out of it. Yeah, look, it's in the chat somewhere. Yeah, we'll put it's, it in Discord so everyone can see it. Uh, Discord? You put it in the roll twenty chat, and then it scrolls away, and they can't find it. Masterwork at every road. That's not my problem. And anyway, um, yep. There is the. Oh, uh, there is also a potion. I didn't include him for that one. But be uh, well, we don't have him anymore. But if we fight a mage, he has a potion of inflict critical wounds. So I'll just add that in. Book yeah, Charisma I don't... came off of somebody in the dungeon. Yeah, there were three of them uh, from the three uh, skeletal mages you fought. Um, did the sash that I picked up have any magical uh, qualities? The Wizard Academy sash. Um, it was like a uh, one of the uh, bodies that. Uh, one of the wizards that Corey didn't know quite well in life, but might have seen, he picked up like a academy sash that was important to that character. Did it have like magical properties? Uh, not significant magical properties. It would be like yeah. it would have a mild enchantment on it, that, which would allow it to last over time. Um, probably more of like a like a prestidigitation glamour, just to keep it looking pretty, but that would also keep it from decaying. Then I will simply donate a. Uh, I'll donate it to the Church of Nuon as a uh, either a relic or recollection of memory that they can use a spell. Like in the same way that my gloves, uh, like divine when it was given to the user and like when it was where it last fell. Because technically, like all objects are like little bits of information for like donating information to the church because they can use spells to divine things so regardless if it gives me any affiliation score uh it'll um, give you a plus one yeah I'll, I'll give them the rings too actually i'll keep the rings <laughs> i'll put those in the library the rings weren't magical were they 
No, they were sergeant's ring. I mean, maybe they were, but it's, I just listed sergeant's ring. Is more of a. I think they're sergeant's ranks. They're insignia. Ranks. Oh. Just like a little metal badge on their shoulder that didn't decay over time. And she'll kind of paste them on the wall of his studio and his library and try and write the names or descriptors of what he can recall about them from Divine Nova. Um, John, do you allow spells that say maximum, so it's like one per ca plus one per cash level for the damage? Do to exceed the cap that they have in the book, because this one caps at fifteen. But I'm yep. Now, okay. Because I am. Yeah, if you're casting Kona Cold, um, you if you look in the chat, there's uh, lightning bolt and lesser lightning bolt. We're both ten d six and ten d four plus three. Okay. No, I was just wondering because this one was like does five d eight plus one per cast level, maximum of fifteen. Just didn't know if that fifteen was hard cap or not for you. Oh, yeah, those ones are hard cap. It's only the dice ones. Oh, okay. What is 5d8 plus your caster level? Uh, well, it's just uh, Electric Vengeance greater when uh, it's an immediate action to do 5d8 plus 15. Nice. Uh, when I get hit by a melee. No, the damage caps like those are like Cure Light Wounds. When it gets to that cap, that's the max the spell does. Okay. Nice little, uh, you're hitting me with melee. Take a fuck ton of damage. Or at least a little bit of damage. Eh. Uh, and make a fort save or be dazed. That's nice. <laughs> Although fort save is usually the best save for someone who's meleeing you. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean... Yeah. Now that my uh, DC has gone up to 25 for evocation, I think I'll make it. Okay, is there anything else anyone wants to get while they're in town? Uh, I guess I don't actually buy those if I already get a, bu a bunch of like, wild card spell books. Yeah, the, the idea behind that is you've got all these copies of spells and there will be lots of duplicates because there are a lot of common spells that mages take. But there'll be one spell in each book of each level that is unique. And you've got three books, so go nuts. But you can retcon it when you you can have up to eight uh, fifth level spells. So, assuming you have a twenty intelligence. Yes, uh, I'll go with those, and then I'll figure out the first and zero spell spells later. Prismatic ray, nice. Yes, it seems fun. Contact other plane. That's your uh, base spell. Uh, no, I don't learn an additional divination spell. I just can prepare one. But oh, it is a divination spell, so... You need to take one so you can prepare one. Yes. I also have prying eyes. I don't know which one I want to go with, but they both seem fun. What's prying um, eyes do? Uh, you shoot out a bunch of, like, invisible eyes that go every which direction, and you can, like... I don't remember exactly what it does. If it, if it ever came up, I'd probably read it, and then I'd probably realize it's not as good as I think it is. But, you know, divination, right? we meet up in town? Yep. Uh, you guys can decide where you guys want to meet up before you teleport away. We're all going to go to this bar or whatever when we're done shopping. Mm -hmm. Done prying, raising our dead people. The prying eyes you create a number of uh, visible, oh, semi-tangible visible magic orbs equal to the 1d4 plus your caster level. They uh, move out, scout around, and return to you as you direct. Uh, each eye can see 120 feet in all directions. They're very fragile. They have one hit point, speed 30 feet, plus 16 hide modifier. Spot modifier equals your cast level, subject to illusions, darkness, and so on. But when you create them, you specify instructions you want them to follow of no more than 25 words. Any knowledge you possess is known by the eyes as well. Uh, and then they go and do whatever you told them. Then they try to return to you. If they return to your hand, uh, then it replays everything it saw for you. Uh, which is interesting, although I guess they're not invisible, so potentially people could call you back. 
or be alerted that there's something fishy going on. I don't know. I'll probably I'll probably post that in my episode. Do you have control over where they go? You can tell them where to go, and then they go there, but you can't you can't change it after the fact. Yeah, if you pick a good spot um, for looking, like 120 feet is pretty decent. Stay oh, the duration is also an hour per level, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I was just thinking about um, you have like a dozen of these things come back and report to you, and it takes you three days to watch all of the messages. Well, it takes one round to replay one hour of recorded images. Oh, okay. I didn't read the whole description. That's not too shabby, then. Yeah, mostly it's just not necessarily foolproof that people won't notice it. Which, uh, well, a plus 16 hide modifier is pretty nice. I'll take it. What does it use for stealth, though? Plus 16. Well, well so, so it's hide because it's a 3.5 skull. No, no, no. I'm just trying to figure out what if it has a like a base, but I, I guess it's just flat 16. Yep. It's giving you its like final hide modifier because it's a fine size construct. I'll probably just pick contact other plane for now because that seems also more straightforward for you to uh, for you to handle. Yeah, this spell yeah. seems like a, a completely obnoxious thing to deal with as a DM. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll avoid that for now. Then I'll I'll have it in my spellbook in case like we're in a less dungeony, more open area where it's more of like a a qualitative description. Then oh, I have to reveal every single room on the map. Well, or decide, decide ahead of time what you would see in every single room of the map, basically. Yeah, a semi-tangible thing suggests that it can't go through doors and stuff. So, but yeah, it's still it's still useful. It just uh, I obviously don't want to nerf your character or uh, tell you you can't take spells. I just yeah, it sounds right, like right, a right. lot of work to figure out what a yeah, dozen the other different thing is, as a wizard, do. as a wizard, like I always have alternatives, like. I, I I can have that spell and then just never use it and still be fine, so I don't worry about that much that part. 